Before we get into the video, I just want to say thanks to everybody out there who watched my previous video. I had a lot of good feedback, and so it was really, really cool to see that um, turn out. And so I just want to say thanks. All right, so something I've struggled with in my pretty much in my entire disc golf career is throwing the d disc nose up. If I'm backhanding it this way, that means I'm releasing it with the nose angle up. And I lose a ton of distance because of it just catches that bottom of the disc and just goes straight up and there's a lot of research out there that says that the preferred angle is slightly nose down and it took me a while to figure this out so I'm just gonna share with you three little these aren't any big secrets they're just three things that I have done that seem to make my nose angle more consistent the first one kind of happened on an accident I had been kind of just trying some new things out and it turns out the thing that I changed to help my nose angle and I wasn't even changing it because I wanted to help my nose angle. Believe it or not, it's my grip of the disc. I'll show you my old grip. I used to take the disc and put it right there. That's kind of weird, I know. And I would take these three fingers around and then I would kind of twist it and set it down in my palm like that. And I felt I always had a lot of, basically, it's pretty inaccurate for me. I'm not saying that somebody else that uses this grip doesn't work for, but for me, it didn't really work. So I was playing with some different grips. I went to basically a four finger power grip. I take my hand, put the disc in my hand like this, take four, all four fingers, curl them around it, and put my hand down. And in doing that, I don't think the three or the four finger made a big difference. Because you can do a three three finger power grip in the same position by just doing that but here's what i think made the big difference when i put my disc like that i'm gonna hold this and i'm gonna stick it out here it's hard for me to get that nose angle down but if i switch the disc into my palm and turn it like that 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 grip if, if i switch it back to my old grip it's just it was just a harder deal for me to get that nose down i'm not i'm not telling you to go out and change your grip uh, but for me, it felt weird at first, but the more I did it, the more I became more comfortable with it, and I was definitely throwing more accurate shots. Nose angle and accuracy. So, it was a pretty cool deal to just see just my grip plays a big role. And so the second thing that I've started changing is, believe it or not, you really have to, I didn't realize this, but your wrist angle really has to be pointed kind of towards the ground and it kind of you don't want to throw it into the ground but that nose angle it's it feels kind of weird to twist your wrist down like that it took me a while to get comfortable doing that um it works and for me the technique that works for me is when i do that i may turn the disc like this when i come but my wrist if i supinate my wrist is still in this downward the disc is actually going like this, but that's because when I come around, it's gonna be back on this side. It works for me, okay? And so I just try to keep that disc on the same plane the entire time. As far as I try not to move my wrist a whole lot. I don't, I'm not necessarily tight, because I do have play here. I just don't want the disc doing this. It just messes me up if I, if I do a bunch of this. And finally, the third thing that seems to help me is I used to have a problem with pulling the disc down here and then coming up and trying to come through. And for me, what helps is if I keep the disc on the same plane this whole time, a horizontal plane, not, not this plane, because the disc comes out, comes in, comes back out again, but a few throws in and uh, get some good nose down angle shots and maybe give you a comparison on distance. So, by the way, there's an orange basket out there. It's, it's over 400 feet because the tee pad is in this direction, about 20 feet up there. So that, that basket's roughly 425 feet. So here we go.
That was definitely nose down. <laughs> definitely nose down. Two nose down. Okay, let's try it again. This is my first throw of the day. Give me a break. Give me a break. That was nose up as it could possibly be. That was nose up like a... That was so much better. And that's part at that basket. The basket's 425 feet away. That was so much better. That's a great comparison between a nose up disc and a flat disc. That one, dude, that one's way out there. That one has to be pushing 450. That was, uh, that was out there. I'm gonna go get them and come right back. So I went all the way down there with my rangefinder, and this is not internet distance bull crap. I know that I'm gonna have comments like that. I know it, but it's not. I'm not gonna lie. I have no reason to lie. I took my rangefinder down there at these discs. This pink one was for sure nose up, and it was 344 feet. Okay, this one, which I thought was a pretty good throw. I was not lying, it literally was sitting about 10 feet to the right of the basket. It was 425 feet on the money, okay? This one was more right, okay? But it was actually deeper. And this one was 464, which is one of my best throws possibly ever. And so I know for a fact that what I'm saying, it, it, it resonates with me and in my head and it's things that I'm doing that have definitely made me better. For sure, 100, without a doubt. Okay, but I'm gonna throw a few more because I don't want this to be like a weird little coincidence type thing. So, here we go. Those are crushed. Those are absolutely bomb. Wow, that is so crazy. That was on a rope. That didn't get higher than 60 off the ground. It still went 400. So maybe not quite 400. Maybe like 390. But I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, range finder on those and I'll be back with those. This one was my very last throw. It was the one that stayed about, I don't know, this high off the ground. Uh, and it, was, it wasn't 400. It was 382. Okay. And then this one was the one that I knew I got a hold of. And it was at 460. So I had four of, or I've had at least two of them over 450 into the 460s, which is, those are good throws for me. Those are probably slightly above average throws for me. It doesn't, it's not really easy for me to just get out to 460. But it's really cool to see kind of my power kind of coming in um, at about the same time I'm understanding the angles. And it's just really, really, really cool stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping that this video. Uh, help some people out there that are struggling with nose angle because I know I struggled with it a lot Like always, please subscribe go in peace and be blessed